Here's a tip for all you photographers who already have a color managed workflow. You have calibrated your monitors, you've calibrated your papers, but you want to take it to the next level. You are always printing to the same type of paper and you're very print centric. So when you go into a print session, you want to be able to see exactly what your images are going to look like before you ever click the print button. Well, I'm going to show you how to turn your monitor into paper so that you can see exactly what your images will look like without ever even hitting the print button. Now, the first thing that we have to have to do this is a printer profile for a very specific paper. You can do that by downloading that printer profile from the paper manufacturer or from your printing house that you print with, or you can make that print profile with a tool from XWrite called the i1 Pro. Now I've already made a printer profile by printing out the color swatches on my specific paper, on my specific printer, and then I've read them with the i1 Pro so that I created a profile specific to my paper. I've also downloaded from the paper manufacturer various other paper profiles that I've installed into my system. Once I've done that, then I simply need to go to the i1 profiler system. So here in the i1 profiler program, you'll notice that we're in the basic mode here, but there's also an advanced mode. We want to click on advanced and now we're going to click on the profiling, the display profiling option. Click on profiling. And here in the default measurement area, you'll see pretty much the same options you had before, except you will have one extra decision to make. So the white point I've already chosen at D55, the luminance at 100, the gamma at standard, and just below that is the contrast ratio. Now the contrast ratio of any given monitor today is usually one to 1000. It's a very wide contrast ratio. Whereas your paper can be as limited as one to 23. So it's a very small contrast ratio, which means that if your monitor wants to show you what the paper is going to look like, it has to get rid of all the contrast and really dumb itself down to a very limited contrast. And that's what we're going to do here is we're actually going to physically limit the contrast that your monitor can provide in order to show you what the print will actually look like. But it's going to limit the contrast on your entire monitor so that everything you see is going to look like paper. So let's choose that by clicking on the contrast ratio drop down menu. And instead of the native option, which is what the monitor can actually provide, we're going to go down to the option that says from printer profile. And when we click on it below that, we will see a profile name and any paper profile that we have put into our system will be available for us to choose here. And you can see those paper profiles here. The Canon Premium Matte Pro is actually a profile I created myself with the X-Rite software. Um, but below that, you'll see two vellum papers that are by a company called Canson. I downloaded these from the paper manufacturer. And at the very bottom, you'll see a deep matte paper that's actually printed by my printing house called White House Custom Color. And so all of these are things that I can use to create a monitor profile that will mimic the paper by limiting the contrast. But let's choose the Canon Premium Matte Pro. So I'm going to click on that and you'll notice that below it, it now says that my contrast ratio is 1 to 37. Not 1 to 1000 like my monitor can provide, but 1 to 37. And we've determined that by creating our own profile with my i1 Pro from X-Rite. So we know exactly what this paper is going to look like and now we're going to create a profile for our monitor. So once we've set all of our settings, including our contrast ratio, we're going to go through the same process that we normally do in creating a profile for our monitor. Because the X-Rite software has profiled my monitor, and also profiled my paper and put the two of those together, 
Now my monitor will look exactly like the paper that I'm going to print on. So let's see that happen. Now if I want to see what this monitor profile is actually going to do for the monitor, the best way to do that is to actually go into the system preferences of your computer. To do this on a Mac, I go into the Apple menu system preferences and then I pull up the display preferences and go to the color settings in the display preferences. On a PC, that might be a different path, but you should know where to get that if you're working on profiles anyway. If I go to an earlier profile without the paper involved, you'll see that everything is very highly contrast because the monitor itself is giving you a 1 to 1000 ratio contrast. It's very contrasty. But if I click on the Canon map profile that I've just made for that specific paper, it's going to severely limit that contrast. And when I do that, you're going to see that the blacks no longer are black and the grays are very muted and the whites get pulled down because the contrast level has gone from 1 to 1000 to severely limited to like 1 to 37. So it's a huge difference. So let's click on that now. And you can see that now the panels are kind of gray. Let's go back and forth between the two. This is before and this is after before and after. And you can see how the, the photo itself changes, especially right down here by the tree. At the bottom of the tree, you can see that there's black at the bottom of that trunk. But as soon as I click on the Canon Matte Pro paper, the black becomes gray. Now, because you've taken the time to profile your monitor and profile your paper and put the two of them together in a profile that includes your contrast ratio of your specific paper, you now have a profiled monitor that will show you exactly what your paper is going to look like because it has the same contrast ratio as your paper. And that's how you create a monitor profile that will turn your monitor into paper. That way you can see exactly what your images are going to look like before the ink ever hits the paper. And you do all of that with the X-Rite profiling tools.